Cartoon recaps here, today I will be recapping the movie called, The White Snake Part 2. Spoilers ahead, chill out, and enjoy. The movie begins with Blanca a white snake demon who was trying to rescue Zahn, her husband trapped in the temple. Her sister called Berda, a green snake demon, doesn't want to leave her sister alone in a very dangerous battle, decided to join her. Both of them uses their magical powers to control the ocean water over the temple. As the water is about to descend on the temple, a powerful monk called, Fahai brings out his robe and turned it into shield to protect himself and the temple. The monk then began to strike back. Thereafter, the both sisters were defeated due to the force from the monk's power. The monk then casts a spell that was able to capture Blanca. Blanca knowing she won't be able to overcome the monk's power, says her final goodbye to her sister and leaves her the baby to her care. Berta weeps badly for her sister being captured by the monk. Berta asks the monk why they must be persecuted, but the monk replies saying demons doesn't deserve to breathe same air with them. The monk decides to spare her life and let her go, but Verda still insists that she must get her sister back no matter what. She attacks the monks, and this time, the monk angrily enforces all his powers and uses his to drain all her powers. He then immediately transports and traps her to a modern Shura city, a place full of demons and mortals. Verda wakes up and finds herself in an abandoned city, the buildings were destroyed, and all the cars were burnt down. While Verda was still trying to figure out what is going on, she sees a monster that looks just like a bull heading towards her. Suddenly the monster started to attack her, but Verda had no choice but to dodge all the hits due to she is now defenseless without her powers. As the monster keeps chasing after her, she came across a girl called Sun, who felt unsecured and pointed a gun at her. But when the girl notices a demon chasing her, she shoots at it and decides to help Verda escape. While the both girls are making their escape, they gets trapped in a building. As the demon is about to hurt them, Car starts falling from the sky and crushes the demon. Immediately a masked man drove out from nowhere and rescues them from the demon. The masked man drops them at their destination and takes off. Sun then takes Verda to a safer place where all kinds of creatures are hiding. Here she explains to Verda that they are in a place called a Suravila, a place where monsters and demons are kept due to unfulfilled desires. While she's explaining, a monster comes in from nowhere and forcefully wants Verda to be with him. As he starts to threaten her life due to her resisting, Verda comes from behind and slashes his throat. Later on, she started to teach Verda how to survive, teaches her how to shoot a gun, and even teaches her how to ride a bike. And as well learning how to fight. At a point Verda became so skillful and unstoppable. They decided to put their skill into test by going to where thieves are, to get robbed. And as they got robbed, Verda and Sun joined forces together on their bike, and were able to take back what was stolen from them, and they easily took down all the criminals. Training is over and Verda has already started to adapt living in a Suravila. Suddenly bikers with masks started to head to where they are. When Blanca and Sun sees them, they immediately started to make preparations for their escape. A big battle was about to occur between the ox demon who have horns like a bull while some has a head shaped in form of a horse, versus the Raksha clan. They are both combination of vampires and humans. The ox clan leader wants to rule all of Asura Vila, and by doing so, he has to annihilate the Raksha clan. The Raksha clan leader is called Simon. On the other hand, two Ox clan members saw Verda and Sun escaping and started chasing after them in a bike. Sun was later caught and is killed by one of the Ox clan members. When Verda sees this, she was so angry and heads towards the monster in full force to fight it. An epic battle between the two opposing clans is about to begin, until they got distracted by Venta and one of the Ox clan in a fight. It turns out that the monster is much more stronger than her and is about to squeeze her to death. The masked man from earlier is on top of a building with a sniper about to prevent the monster from hurting Verda. But luckily, Verda shoots the monster down herself. Something strange happens as a wave was heading towards their direction. The whole clan senses the danger and all started to make their escape. Spirit demon came from the sky and starts to attack the whole clan but Simon rescues Verda. He takes Verda to a fox demon in helping her find her sister. The fox demon takes them to a pool that reveals all their obsession. The fox demon tells them that anyone who wants to leave a Suravila can put themselves into the pool for cleansing, therefore wiping out their memories. When the crew is about leaving, spirit demons were on the attack. One bite from them will turn you into what they are. The whole crew manages to make their escape, while one of the spirit demon chases Verda separately. When the spirit demon was about to spot her, the masked man that saved her life from earlier then blows a whistle and other to distract the demon to his direction. While he is running away from it, he saves a man who was almost caught by the demon but the man pushed him back to save his own life, but another demon came from behind and devoured him. 
while the masked man is still struggling with the demon, Berta rushed to help him by piercing its body but it wasn't getting hurt, until Simon hurried slashes it with his sword. Simon tells them that those demons can only be killed by beheading. When the whole crew got outside safely, Simon is really angry that their car is damaged which means, they will have to walk back home. Berta suggested that they should take the masked man along with them since he saved her life twice. Instead, Simon yells at the masked man that he shouldn't have saved that man from back then, that this is a suravila. No one should be helped or trusted. As Verta begs Simon to let him tag along, Simon reluctantly allows the masked man to join their crew. When Simon and the others return to the village, the whole place is being attacked by the Ox clan. They brutally killed every single member of the Raksha clan. And victory is theirs. Simon watches in pain on how his clan got slaughtered. Later on, when the crew was on the move, the spirit demons appears again and chases after them. In the process, the masked man gets trapped. Verta begs Simon to assist in helping him, but Simon tells her that they should just abandon him because he might be a burden. Verta then goes alone to rescue him but she turns around, she notices that Simon has abandoned them and even traps them so he could save his own life. Verta feeling so depressed, decides to give her life to save the masked man but suddenly the masked man finally reveals his identify. When Verta sees him she notices that the masked man all this while is the long-lost sister she has been looking for. Another to save her long-lost sister, she kills the demon and saves her sister from drowning. Verta asks questions like how Blanca ended up in a man's body but he doesn't seem to remember anything since the monk incident. Verta and Blanca then decides to go to the fox demon, so she will take them away from Asuravila. Simon was also there so he can go back too. Unfortunately the ox clans appears in Verge to conquer all of Asuravila. Simon apologizes to Verta for abandoning them in the first place and goes into a one-on-one -on -one fight with the ox leader. After a long fight, the ox leader kills him. Now remaining Verta, Blanca, and the fox demon. When they tried to attack the fox demon, she unleashed her full powers and started to attack them all. Thereafter, killing them one by one. Varta and Blanca was able to make it to a barrier that can take them out of Asura Vila, according to the fox demon. Verta enters the barrier only to be comforted again by the monk. This time Verta releases her powers on the monk and they both get into an epic battle. The monk keeps defeating her and keeps returning her to Asura Vila, but she doesn't give in and keeps returning to fight. Finally she returns again for the last time, which makes the monk so angry. Verta power began to grow more bigger this time, unleashing all her powers in a form of a really huge snake to attack the monk. While the monk unleashes all his powers in form of a bird, the both attacks each other but Verta powers was able to overpower the monk's power. Now Verta throws a huge fire blast on him and destroys his temple. Finally the monk died. When Verta and Blanca are returning to the real world, a spirit demon catches Blanca and bites him. Verta was really sad because he can't return along with her. They both cried and say their final goodbye before Blanca perished. Verta finally returns back to Earth. After so many years, Verta couldn't still forget her past life, and Blanca sacrifices for her sake. And that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching, guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to check out other animation recaps videos on this channel. Bye.